Good morning, and it's a pleasure to uh, introduce this next session, uh, which is going to be focused on research. Two of the um, recommendations from the report focus on research. Recommendations six and seven focus on um, leading a collaborative effort to uh, get other federal agencies, including the NIH, the American Heart Association, and the v Department of Veterans Affairs to work together to support and accelerate innovative research on the causal mechanisms and pathology and treatment and outcomes of cardiac arrest. And recommendation seven calls on those same institutes and others to prioritize health services research related to the adoption of best practices, the use of innovative technologies, and the development of new implementation strategies for cardiac arrest treatments. So we're really going to focus on those uh, issues today. I, um, before joining NIH in the Office of Emergency Care Research, I worked six blocks up the road at George Washington University. Those of you who came here through Foggy Bottom will have stopped outside that, that, um, that emergency department. And um, looking back on my career there and how many patients, a lot of patients came in in cardiac arrest, very few of them, I, I, I hasten to say, actually made it out the other side. Generally, people who made it out the other side, as we know, those who, in whom uh, re the, the resuscitation and defibrillation is initiated in the field. So if our paramedics were able to resuscitate, that's normally the kind of patient that we were able to follow through in successfully. So um, it is with bearing that in mind and, and, and what we can do better that I turn the panel over to our speakers. Uh, our first speaker today uh, will be... Um, Dr. Gary Gibbons from the National Institutes of Health. 